have to adjust their counterplay accordingly. The fact that ZB leads off the entire set with walk forward up strong shows you his mentality. <laughs> He's out here trying to trying to not only win, but trying to entertain both himself and us. Hey, you gotta put on a show. It's not enough just to win. Sometimes you gotta just really make your opponent lose, you know? <laughs> Go that extra mile to really cement everything that you are and will be as a player. And this rock <laughs> movement is something that Bagel has seen far too many times, armoring straight down and looking for the follow-up as he waits on ledge for what ZB wants to do. Fall, uh, there, there, Yeah, it is just die. <laughs> All right, for all the fancy hits that ZB managed to make happen across that first stock, it is Bagel who's breaking first blood. And having the opportunity to just turn the entire base platform to ice means plenty of good movement options ahead of him. But there's no ice off stage, only rocks. Only rocks and death as ZB manages to tie the stock down. Yeah, I like it. I've been consistently um, admiring ZB's use of the, of the shattered rock, first and foremost, because rock itself, phenomenal projectile. But if you're able to abuse the fact that of uh, the different angles that Rock can break at and thus harass a bagel, that is uh, that's something in and of itself has a great parry into that down strong. It, it really shows a level of mastery behind the character when you're not just playing off of like the one projectile but the many projectile when you have the pedals shatter out. And like the reliance of using those to cover space with the way that Bagel's moving around in the air is really something to behold because Aeolus does not have the greatest of movement options. I feel like I'm not sharing anything new with you folks, but the way that Bagel moves, he makes so much with so little available to him. And yet CB is still accounting for that. ZB's doing ZB things, playing off this pillar, but Bagel does Edelus things all the same, finding that armor very quickly and maintaining that stock advantage, even at the extreme percentages. See some down tilts and the down air to read the roll. All right. An excellent way to turn what could have been a tight stock count into big damage. ZB does manage to tie those stocks, but ooh, the block actually managing to mix it up a little bit there. Because of that, we have a hell of a situation on the pillar to the right side. Bagel kind of at his own detriment, challenging ZB when he's off stage multiple times over. And ZB's ledge play, one of the best just of the Crags and of the rival's player base. He really knows how to abuse these wave lands on the stage and the fact that Crag can create his own platforms. But Bagel, no shortage of mix-ups. Uh, the jab check on the parry, very way, good way to stay safe from ZB. Especially seeing how Adoest has no shortage of kill power and you're getting to these very high percentages. Yeah, even with the weights of both of these characters, the things are starting to get very dangerous. But taking advantage of the pillar down there, excellent presence of mind from Bagel. And he manages to the freeze, but no forward strong to confirm the kill. Yeah, just misplaced it ever so slightly, and the nair into the fair. Yeah, Bagel kicking himself over that one. He had the stock unlocked and flubbed the spacing, flubbed the consistency, looking for an F strong instead of going for something more consistent like the on uh, taking center down strong to cover all of those tech options. Yeah, I think going for the back air to try and get just that bit more of damage in that last stock was really pushed the envelope a little bit too greedy from Bagel. But regardless, still played out excellently throughout that game one. Let's see if he can take that forward into game two as you go to hideout. This is this is going to be an interesting stage. I, I I like the counter pick, but I also like how ZB's playing on the counter pick. I mean, Kragnair is already such a house. We've seen it before with MSB on screen. The fact that ZB is just taking this stage and the wide platform to com to use Nair more on com in combination with these plat drops, it's just pretty good. The stage, I feel like, has a lot of layers for this particular matchup because on one hand, you have to worry about side special from Bagel just completely always covering the top with ice. At the same time, we've seen Bagel trying to use this to harass off stage. So there's a bit of ambiguity to how Bagel's gonna be using his tools, even with how deliberate he has options available to him when he uses those tools. I think that little bit of guesswork could go a long way for Bagel, especially as he's able to consistently assert stage control. With this armor online, though, he's gonna, he doesn't need any more guesswork. He just needs to find some one of these strong hits. Trying to wave dash, for, uh, wave, just wave dashing. We, we wave dashing out here. 
Dutch movement, as the kids, <laughs> as the children have been known to <laughs> to speak, as ZP closes out with a little bit of movement on sh movement on his own right off of the side special. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you just need movement, no schmoof. Yeah, take it, take out the S, and all you're left is with some clean movement. And both of these, both of these characters weighing like cows, and we're seeing the amount of percentage that is put on both sides. Stacks, uh, stocks last a long time, and it's really a test of endurance as the set goes on. Oh, absolutely. And it's not like they're even just going tit for tat. There, there's situations where ZB just has complete control of the legends, forcing Bagel to pick and choose how much damage to take as he returns to the stage. And then on the other side, you've got situations where Bagel is just completely asserting dominance on stage, racking up damage no problem. I've, I've been really a fan of how Bagel has been aggressive once ZB leaves, uh, leaves Pillar. That was such a good reaction to bouncing off of the rock. Like, the fact that this situation only happened because ZB put that rock in dead center and Bagel just rolled with it just shows how aware Bagel is of the situations at hand. Oh, looking for the Dacus on these platforms, but no doing, and that parry will certainly lead to a stock finisher. It's like uh, simple F strong is all you need, and ZB at 144, at zero, we've got, a, we've got a final stock situation yet again. And I think our, so far, what is certainly feeling like tempo-wise, our closest set to date. Definitely. It's looking like a much more even game behind both ends, and I think it's just because both players are so prepared to play around the Ooh. game plan of the other, and that's why that last stock looked so seamless for ZB, just completely converting all of that offstage pressure into just good juggles. So you want to know something fun? As we may get it on if we get the final stock replay. ZB started off the pressure by hopping, placing rock, hopping on top of it, and yeah, we get it right here, and down strong again. Now, most things that break rock are just coincidental. Just the hitbox collides with rock and breaks it. Down strong from Krag is the only move that was hard coded to say, yeah, this hitbox doesn't connect with rock, but Dan said it breaks rock, so it does. <laughs> <laughs> we love it. There are rules here, <laughs> except for when they aren't. You know, things work except when they don't. And then Dan says they do anyway. <laughs> Oh, and what continues working is uh, Crag Nair combos. <laughs> those, yeah, those listen, will work. If there's one thing to take away from Tats 4, is that Crag Nair is a hell of a drug. <laughs> and it's hard. It's <laughs> we are using in this house. <laughs> yeah, we we appreciate that one. <laughs> oh, Ooh. but Analyst Nair working something fierce for Bagel as he manages to even up the stock count in quick work. Forward air in particular, I think Bagel has been making really good use of so far. And against a character who has such wide aerial hits like uh, Craig, it's very impressive. Yeah, on top of the armor, on top of the, the charge up or the build up for forward air, it makes it so that he's able to block through many of the mid air pressure that ZB likes to go for, whether it be with things like Nair or these rock throws, which do find their way down eventually. As it's so hard to avoid the pressure that comes out from ZB and on a stage like uh, Endless Abyss, you're just giving Crag free reign to just go back and forth and cover all of that. <laughs> Great reversal coming out from Bagel. You recognize the situation and you capitalize. The one thing I was going to bring up before we got down to last stock situations, game three, was just how strong of a read both of these players have on each other's movement. And you were bringing up earlier about how movement really is the de facto defensive play here because it's one of the few of options that's always available to how you can play this game. When you have an idea of where your opponent's going to move, there is no defensive play, there is no way out, and there is no winner's top eight for Bagel. That is a 3-0 for ZB. It felt like Vagel, while they played, they played extremely well, but they had a couple things taken away from them very routinely. And one of those big ones was up air. Many a time, ZB was avoiding, uh, DIing to avoid up air specifically, forcing Bagel to close out combos with back air, with forward air, which, I mean, Bagel, uh, ZB certainly would take, and getting a little bit desperate as this uh, percent climbed high, looking for things like that down B off stage to try and make something happen. Those are all good universes for ZB, just consistently finding ways to close out and to tech properly as he avoided all of that danger.
Because, I mean, he got punished right for going a little bit too aggressive off stage. Like, there are so many opportunities that could have just sort of gone one way or the other. Right. But, like, ZB was prepared for those opportunities. Like, he was prepared for the punish to just not work out that well and just bounce right back. I think that's why we saw a lot of situations from both players where there was just instant reversals that even stock counts. So, like, when you're going in with the mindset that, like, you're playing nice, but you got to play a little nicer, it's you lead to situations like that where your opponent just all of a sudden seems like they're right there in your head.